Here, here we go. Next week. You got time. So they're complementary, right, because they equal what? 90. So how would we find X? We would do what? 90 minus 65 equals 25. So X equals 25. Right? These angles would be what? Why do you say that? Because they what? It's on a straight line, right? So a straight line equals good. So we have so eighty one minus fifty one or eighty. One eighty minus fifty one gives us what? Good. Okay. This angle and this angle are what? Vertical. So they are the, so y equals 107. How would we find x and z? Or let's, how would we find x? The line is 180. Good. Seventy-three. There you go. So if y equals one hundred seven, we know that x equals seventy-three. What would z equal? Good, because they are what type of angles? Vertical. Vertical. Good. Yeah, and that would be the same as the last. Okay. Are you questions about that one? Pretty simple, right? Okay. Moving over here. Okay, so it says the measure of an angle is 13 degrees. Find the measure of its supplement. Supplementary angles equal what? 180. So how would we find what the other angle would be? Which would give us... I'm 67. There we go. You're good. If you're doing it in your head, that's impressive. Okay, we come over here to five. So, first measure is 38. They are complement. That's in degrees. Questions about that? Okay. So we're good there with that one. Okay. So now, if we move on to six, a linear pair. Do you guys remember what a linear pair equals? So a linear pair, think of them on a line. So it equals 180, right? So if we have a linear pair, what are we going to do with the two of them? To get what? Good. Okay. If we combine our like terms... Track 20 from both sides. I'm going to have to move over here. So 160 divided by 8 gives us what? 
20. Now, is that our answer? We have to do what? Find the measure of each angle. So we have to go back in and plug it in. Mm -hmm. Sixty plus eleven. There you go. So those two over there would be your answer. And if you do the math of those two angles, they do in fact equal twenty. Questions about that one? Good. Okay. So now if we come down here to this one, it says that they are what type of angles? Vertical angles are what? Right. Vertical angles are the they're angles across from each other. So they are the they're equal, right? Yeah. yeah, so they're equal angles. So all we have to do to answer that one is just simply set them equal to each other, right? I do first. Okay. What can we do at the same time? Good, because we're trying to get the X's on one side and the other numbers on the other. These would cancel out. That would cancel out. That our answer. Good. We have to find two, right? So angle two is this one. So you'll do twenty times five minus fourteen. And you said twenty times five is a hundred. Minus fourteen is eighty six. So the measure of angle two is 86 degrees. Okay. You guys in the classroom, I'm gonna have you do eight by yourself. You guys at home do eight by yourself. Let's go down to nine. Classroom people will come back to eight. Okay, so for these next two, we have to set up the equation, okay? So for the first one, it says the measure of angle P and the measure of angle Q. So we have to write our two equations. So measure of angle P is three less than twice the measure of Q. So Q is just going to be X, okay? It says twice the measure of Q. So if we know Q is X, we have 2X, and then 3 less than that. So we're going to take away 3 from that. Okay. It says Q, P and Q are supplementary, so they're going to equal what? 180. Good. Okay, so if we set these equal to, each, or set these equal to 180, we'd have 2X minus 3 plus X equals 180. Questions about how we got to that point? Do you understand how we got the equations on the left? Okay. So, we look here. We have like terms. 
you can put those together. And add three to both sides. Anybody know what 183 divided by 3 equals? Correct. Didn't work in your head. Sixty one. Is that our final answer? Do we just have to find X or do we have to find something different? Each angle measure. Good. Good. So we already found one just by doing that, right? Because if X equals sixty one, that means Q equals sixty one. So then if we plug that back into this equation, 2 times 61 minus 3 61 times 2 is 122 and then subtract 3 from that, Savannah. Yep. 119. Okay, so there's those. Now let's come down here and I'm going to write the equation for 10 with you and I'm going to have you guys do the same thing. Okay, now be careful because this one, the angles are complementary. So they're only going to equal 90. Okay, so if we come back here, let's write our equations. We have measure of angle B. That's a B. I need a B. Okay, so it says B is two more than three times the measure of C. So what would C be? C would be X, okay. Anybody want to take a stab at how we would write uh, B? Two more, two plus three X, yeah, or three X plus two, good. All right. So now if we're gonna set that up as an equation, you'd have three X plus two plus X equals what? Complementary angles equal, and then you would solve from there. Okay, so guys at home and guys in the classroom, ladies as well, I want you guys to do 8 and 10 on your own. People at home on Schoology, just submit a picture of the two problems. We'll be good to go.